The burial of a chief differed considerably from that of ordinary men. After the announcement of a chief's death, no one was allowed to wail because it was feared that if one wailed before burial, the corpse might turn into a lion or a leopard and attack people. Therefore, prior to the chief's burial, mourners would weep quietly. A bull was slaughtered for the mourners and its head was used to wrap the corpse. The burial was in the middle of the night and the body was placed in the grave facing northwards towards Mount Liru where the Lugbar believed they originated. After burial, a sorrowful song would be sung and the mourners would wail as they danced. A backcloth tree known as Laru would be planted on the grave. Food could be served during part of the morning. The paternal relatives of the late Opi, known as the chief, could give avu tea, which is the death duty in form of a bull, to the chief's maternal relatives. The burial procedure for ordinary people was similar to that for a chief, except that in the event of death of an ordinary person, mourners were allowed to mourn immediately after the death without any fear that the corpse might turn into a lion or a leopard. Besides, the laru was not usually planted on the grave. At all burials, the adi, which is the traditional history of deceased, was recounted and funeral dances were compulsory. Customarily, an individual was affectionately treated by his mother's relatives who referred to him as Ama Ezapi, which is our daughter. He or she referred to them as Adropika, which is my uncles. It was a custom that upon an individual's death, the Matano clan demanded a death duty in form of a bull called Avuti, which is the corpse bull. It would often generate a monk or real fight if this demand was not granted. <laughs>